I'm Rick Buck and I've been a dentist for 15 years. In this video, we will go over most of the common possibilities for why teeth become sensitive and painful to cold and give you the possible remedies. And there are quite a few possibilities too. So like and subscribe if you have teeth. The first main reason for cold pain in a tooth is inflammation or infection in the tooth. If a tooth has inflammation in its center called its pulp chamber, the nerve in that chamber becomes more easily excitable or stimulated. Therefore, it takes less stimulus to set off a pain signal, which means a normal amount of cold causes the tooth's nerve to become painful. For the rest of the video, we will refer to this as inflamed pulp or pulpitis, or it may progress into irreversible pulpitis. Irreversible means the tooth is dying and infected or will soon become infected. The second main route of cold sensitivity is called dentin hypersensitivity. If you remove the enamel layer from your tooth and looked at the underlying levels of the tooth with a microscope, you would see a surface of tubules. These tubules connect to nerves that stem from the center nerve in the tooth's pulp chamber. The bigger the diameter, higher the density, and the total amount of these tubules there are exposed, the more likely each individual will experience pain to cold as dentin hypersensitivity. Most of this underlying exposed tooth surface is called dentin, so that's why it is called dentin hypersensitivity. Dentists normally place a cold Q-tip on each tooth to test and determine which of these two kinds of pain you are experiencing. You can also perform this test with a corner or shard of an ice cube. With this test, more important than the intensity of the pain is how long the pain lasts. Dentin hypersensitivity pain will normally only last a few seconds. It will fade away right after removing the cold object. If the cold test sensitivity lasts longer than three to four seconds and less than about 10 seconds, it is likely reversible pulpitis. If the cold sensitivity lasts longer than 10 seconds, it is likely irreversible pulpitis. And the further away from 10 seconds it lasts, the more likely it's irreversible pulpitis. Now let's go over the primary causes setting off dentin hypersensitivity or pulpitis. Tooth decay or a cavity can cause pulpitis or dentin hypersensitivity. If the cavity is small, it will likely cause dentin hypersensitivity as it exposes the underlying dentin level. To fix the cavity, it will at least need a filling. Then on the other hand, if the decay is deep, it can set off pulpitis whether it's reversible or irreversible pulpitis. If a cavity is causing pulpitis, it will likely end up needing a root canal at some point. However, sometimes it will only require a filling or crown. Either way, the sooner the cavity is treated, the better. Gum recession is the next cause or trigger of cold sensitivity. I have another video more about gum recession, but if your gums recede, the root portion becomes exposed and will cause hypersensitivity as well. To make matters worse, the roots of your teeth wear down faster than the upper enamel portion, which creates these little notches in the tooth roots. These notches expose more of those little tubules connected to the center nerve, and this will likely cause more tooth pain. And once again, the more those little tubules are exposed, the more likely they cause cold pain. If gum recession is causing hypersensitivity, you can try an anti-sensitivity toothpaste. Also, as a remedy, you can have a bonding or filling done by a dentist over the sensitive spot. If this root sensitivity pain is extreme, or you just can't take the pain, and you tried everything else, then a root canal is the sure way to eliminate the pain as a last resort. Also with gum recession, make sure you stop what is causing the recession, like brushing too hard, brushing with a back and forth motion, teeth grinding, or gum disease. All of those can likely worsen or contribute to gum recession. Moving on, like gum recession, worn down and flattened teeth can also cause hypersensitivity due to the thinning or the elimination of the enamel layer. The common causes of this dentin exposure from tooth wear are teeth grinding, brushing too hard, and too many acidic foods like sucking on lemons, too much soda, 
bulimia and acid reflux are also causes of the enamel layer wearing down. Again, the remedies for worn down teeth are just like gum recession, a filling on the sensitive spot, anti-sensitivity toothpaste, or root canals as a last resort for extremely painful teeth. Cracked teeth can also cause a variety of symptoms and too many to cover in this video. A cracked tooth can cause hypersensitivity, pulpitis, and other issues, so we won't go over them all here. But cracked teeth can be frustrating for patients and dentists to find a remedy. It really just depends on where and how severe the fracture is. If you suspect a fractured tooth, watch my video on the subject for more information. But for this video, it's important to know that a cracked tooth can cause cold pain through both dentin hypersensitivity, or if it's deep enough, pulpitis. Quickly, my favorite toothbrush, floss, and other dental products by far are in Amazon affiliate links in the description below this video. Those dental products will give you stunning results every time you clean your mouth. And you can also watch my video posted at the end of this video to see why they are the best and how to brush and floss your teeth with immaculate results. Tooth trauma, like hitting the tooth hard, can cause cold sensitivity with pulpitis. I recommend a few day regimen of ibuprofen as an anti-inflammatory remedy to my patients with tooth trauma unless the pain is very persistent or too severe. If not too severe, we usually monitor the cold pain from the trauma for signs of future infection. If symptoms go away soon after the trauma, they likely won't progress into irreversible pulpitis, though they can. However, if it is very severe, only a root canal will correct the pain. Dental procedures like crowns and fillings can cause either pulpitis or dentin hypersensitivity. Though no dentist wants to admit it, Dental procedures like crowns and fillings can cause either pulpitis or dentin hypersensitivity. If this happened to my patient, I would recommend the ibuprofen anti-inflammatory regimen for a few days right after the procedure. And actually, this situation happened to me as a patient. After a filling on my tooth was done, it was cold sensitive, and I took ibuprofen and everything healed fine. But if the pain persists, and it was a filling, I would simply redo the filling. After doing these two options, it normally resolves the issue for more than 95% of my patients with cold sensitivity due to a filling. And that is a very tiny percentage because only a tiny percentage of my patients with fillings end up with them being sensitive. And if you want more on that, watch my video about fillings and what I do to avoid sensitivity. In fact, watch any of my videos on pain after a specific dental procedure. Teeth whitening can also cause temporary dentin hypersensitivity. And I say temporary because it usually will subside a short time after whitening has been stopped. In addition, anti-sensitivity toothpaste will help reduce the whitening sensitivity. If you are a person person that likes to eat a lot of acidic foods, avoid brushing right after your meals as this will wear your enamel thin because the acid will leave the enamel in a demineralized and easy abradable state. And then even if the acids don't wear down your enamel, it can still cause cold sensitivity. Anti-sensitivity toothpaste works well here. Also avoiding acidic foods will help stop this from progressing. To help further narrow down your pain, I have more in-depth videos on symptoms, relief, and causes of dental pain. Watch my daily dental care video I have posted now for the best technique, tips, and product recommendations for a stunningly clean mouth that avoids tooth decay, gum disease, and gives you fresh breath. The best dental products that I recommend are in Amazon affiliate links in the description below. If in Southern California, my dental office is in the description as well. Like and subscribe to my channel if you have teeth.